Hello everyone, welcome to a new let's play of Limbo. I'm the Fish of Chaos. And I've actually discovered this piece, this little jewel like two days ago. And I have only played ten minutes of it. And I loved it from the very start. Now, it's very silent this game. And you begin with your protagonist. And your protagonist just lies there. And if you if you don't press any buttons, your 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 character will just lie there forever and ever. And just keep and it will not do anything. So you need to press a button. And for the, and when you finally get your protagonist you can walk to the left. And there is a dead end and only an egg. Well, what is that egg? I don't know either. It's just something that I discovered. Now Apparently I have some lag right now, but I hopefully that won't uh, be bothersome through the entire game. Now this game has a great ambience and has some silent music, and there is all. And this game is actually about survival, because there are a lot of ways to die. Now this game is trial and error. So each time that you die, you will have checkpoints and you will and be back alive. There are no life counters. Maybe I will add a death counter and how many times I died. But there is no um no no uh, amount of life that you there's no life uh, bar there are no one ups and there are <laughs> you can just keep on continuing I think. Now at first you do not know what the controls are, but you will instantly see that the person will grab it instantaneously. And what you need to do is pr press the control button on your keyboard in order to uh, pull the thing back, otherwise it doesn't do that. Now you can climb up, down, left and right, and control button, yeah, from your keyboard, and that's all the controls that these games have. So it's a pretty easy game, still it's... For this, for the, for an easy game, it has just so much character to it, and for in case you're wondering, your character cannot swim, so please don't try it. <laughs> don't try it at all. And yes, he can uh, crawl down from latches, and even jump. In order to jump, you need to press two directional buttons. One is up, and one is the direction that you're going. Now, when you're climbing, you need to press all the up, because if you're pr pressing the directional button as well, well, then you will jump. That's basically all the rest of it. So in order to, you can actually, if you stand on the ground, you can just jump upwards, but it doesn't bring you anywhere. This also looks, makes you look like a child that's jumping up and down. That brings me, <laughs> no. Um, that's nothing. Uh, I played like 10 minutes and I did the first boss, if you can call it. There, wa there was a. Yeah, it was a boss or something like that. Or something similar to a boss. I don't know if you call it a boss. I think it's just in game. This game doesn't actually have a have bosses like that. It's just a puzzle adventure game. And yes, in order to. And I completely missed a jump. In order to climb the jump, you can climb on here. And then you can jump. Like that. Yeah, pushing two directional buttons. Now I will probably, like I said, have a death count for this game. In order that this game is trial and error. So each time you will probably die a lot. Even, even if you know this game, you probably will die a lot. It's trial and error because sometimes you do forget something. And I just jumped into the spikes and apparently... Oh, those are two. Uh, those are bear traps, like uh, you know. What you need to do is actually get close to them, and you can push the control button in order to pull them away. And what you can do is jump over them, but if you're too close to them, you will not jump over them. You will die instantaneously. Now this part is hard to figure out. I had some trouble with this because it looks like you can just jump there. But if you jump, you will actually jump into the bear trap. Now, thinking that there is a bear trap and there is 
and this is actually another trap for an animal. So this is probably some food that somebody ate. And I don't want I don't want to know what this kind of food is or what kind of animal this is. I really don't want to know. And I just <laughs> jumped into the That's my fault. That's ent entirely my fault. You see the head there? It's it's gruesome. You see you don't see any blood but you see the head laying there. This is just trial and error. Yeah, you can just jump. If you don't press the up button, he will not. He will not climb up. He will just hang there on the side. And you can push left and right in order to swing. And then climb up the hill. So the next part is a little bit... Uh, it took me some time to figure out. But not all too... too it isn't all too hard. Because... You need to keep in mind that your character cannot swim. So, oh yeah, this game. <sighs> Come on, jump! This game also reminds me of another game called Heart of Darkness, in which you. No, 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 no. Too late. <laughs> in which you do trial and error. You don't have any life. There are things that want. There are that, are, that want to kill you. And there's a lot of dead animations for each thing that want to ki that wants to kill you. So in order to do that, so that, and it's a bit dark, and it makes use of shadows as well. So that's why this game is a little bit reminiscent of that one. I think I will do that one as well, although that one is a bit unorthodox in compared to this one. This one is more, although it's, it's it's um. It's really dark and gloomy. That's the style that we're going for. Dark and gloomy. It's the it through the entire game. It's the ambiance of this game. My Heart of Darkness is a dark game. It doesn't have the same ambiance. Now, of course, you cannot swim. You think you this a wooden crate would float and that you can jump onto it. Well, guess again. There's a sort of river arm mechanic that makes the the chest return to its original position, in which way you cannot cross to it by pushing the chest forward or whatever reason. It's not supposed. That's how. That's that's not how you solve the puzzle anyway. That's that's main the main thing that they said here. Nope, you cannot do that. Although you think it's the uh, solution, that's what they did. Uh, they tricked you there thinking that was the solution. No, this is actually the solution. You can climb onto this vine. And that actually stumped me for quite some time that you, that you could climb on this vine. But there was, I was thinking there was, should be a reason that you start over at that a particular uh, segment every time. So I tried it and it worked out. Now you can jump here and climb up. He has a little, little bit of leverage, he will never let go. You need to push this forward. You see him pushing. I did not press the button in order for him to push. Um, there is another egg up here. Not that it's important, but... I want to show you I want to show you it anyway. Come on, why can't, can't you j jump this time? This day around. Come on. Uh, apparently you cannot jump anymore. Oh well, there's an egg up there. You can get to it. I don't know what those eggs are for, for, for whatever reason they are there. I don't know why they are there, but let's just get get on with it. Yes, and this is how you get down. Same way as you got up. Now you can push actually this lock. You can push it into the water and just jump across this. Bit of water here. Be careful not to fall into the water, otherwise you will drown. And you will probably have to do the segment over again. Although I'm not too sure about that. I haven't drowned there. And uh, although there is a bit of lag to my PC, um, I hope it doesn't. It's not all too bad. And there is a, oh my fucking god! What's that? What, what is that? What is that? What is? It? Hello. Can I? 
Wait, wait, what? Wait, what? That's just gruesome. Yes, I know. I know that's faked. <laughs> I know it was faked, but whatever. What you need to do actually is just stand it here. And wait till he's done with this thing. I'll let him attack you twice. So I do that. That's one. You can hear it from the background if you listen carefully to what you're listening for. And that's two. And there it goes. It's the bear trap. And just jump. And pick it up. And drag it all the way towards the spider. Now, this is the last point in the game that I've played. Trying to figure this out. So what you need to do is just let him attack you. And pull it. And there it goes. Now for the second one, just do the same thing over. No! God damn it. I died. Like I said, trial and error. God damn it. <laughs> this, this is going to be a fun episode to put in the death counter. Already, even if if this part isn't blind, this is by the way the last part. After this, I'm, I have no clue what to do. It's one. Come on, attack me. Let's do, and for the third one you need to walk away, because he will attack you from far, if you're not too ca uh, if you're not careful, and just let him attack you again. Damn it! I missed. Come on, attack me. And there he goes. And it's the end of the spider. And I don't know if you need to. Actually, you can just walk over it, but normally I just jump over the bear trap. Now, this is the end of the episode. Next time we'll be going down here, since I do not know what's down here. And that stone looks creepy with all, those, with all the things on it. So, I will. I hope you enjoyed this episode for so far. And I will see you back in the next episode. Until then.